Oh, oh, oh. What the hell was that? Draw the fish to him out of the water. Two at a time, eh? Yeah. I need to look. We got it, bro. I caught a Spanish <laughs> mackerel top water, bro. That's offshore fish, bro. That's offshore fish, bro. Top water. All right, folks. So we just pulled up to the place where we want to fish. We launched out of uh, full show today. And we fish on the Gulf side. And uh, that's the time of the year where we can already see some bait on top of the water. That's the time of the year. Oh, they got a big old structure right here, bro. That's one thing you gotta watch out for. They got, that's the time of the year that these fish, they hanging out outside, they dealing with spawning and all that stuff. So we are, we gotta be being really mindful of things under the water. There used to be an island over here, literally fishing on top of an island. So we gotta make sure we don't hit nothing, don't break nothing. It's my first time here, but uh, we're gonna start. It's pretty calm over there. We got some rollers, but no wind. So we're gonna start with some top water, see what happens. If that don't work, we're gonna swap to swim baits on the bottle. We're gonna swap to some corks. And I know it gets pretty shallow over there. As you guys can see, the, the waves start breaking. So we're gonna make something happen. Let's go fishing. fish for about an hour and a half we hit all the structures that look like this right here and Cody had one bite didn't catch any trout so what we're gonna do with the moon I don't know if you guys can see out there but the moon was is is out there so I don't know if this fish is on the sand trying to lay eggs or whatever because of the moon so I really don't know how that works I'm just going by what I've Maybe I learned, maybe I learned from the wrong people, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna go look for some islands, look for some sand and see if we can find those trouts in there because right now they're not in the structures. We barely see any bait fish actually. So let's go ahead, make a move and see if we can find some. Big fish, bro. Came off. It was a, it was fighting weird though. No teeth marks. I don't know if it was a speck or not. He got off. Feel like a school trout though, huh? Oh, hard! <laughs> you was able to catch a hard hat on the artificial, huh? Gotta be me. Gotta be you. I kind of had a feeling too, the way I felt it hitting. Yeah. Oh, it's not big, but it's a trout. It's not big, but it's a trout. Nah. Uh, Thirteen. Let me see the, see the road over right there. First trout of the day though, caught a freaking trout. Right on the 12. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Living Outdoors. Today is a tough day. Trying to fish for a speck of trout. I'm fish with Cody. And uh, when I started fishing, it was too dark, so I couldn't film the intro. But uh, we fishing in the islands outside of uh, Fouchon, Louisiana. And uh, first we started fishing some structures offshore. And uh, we didn't catch any fish. Water was pretty, but didn't get a bite. So I figured, well, let's go a little bit north, try to hit the islands, the sand bottom. Maybe these fish is laying eggs on the sand. And we've been hitting points. We've been trying to, we got a few bites here and there, just caught our first fish. So what's happening pretty much is everywhere you see, we see a point around here. That's where we've been getting bites. We stopped in a spot over there that we were not getting a bite and somebody that was fishing right where the water was moving around the point, they was catching fish every cast. So it's gonna be all about targeting 
key spots today, target points, beaches, and see what works. So stick with us. Welcome back to another episode on Living Outdoors. Please smash the like, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. So since it's so hard to find this fish, what we've been doing is we've been popping corks because we can, especially the four horsemen cork that I'm using, it makes a nice rattling sound of the water that simulates, that's a fish, simulates a fish eaten and that attracts fish. So if you're trying to target fish, that's a good strategy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I just got a bite right there. So I was able to try to hook the fish, didn't, and I left the, the cork at the same strike zone. I did reel it in a little bit, so that's what we're doing. We're using corks to try to attract this fish. And we start catching a lot of small fish. You might throw a jerky bait or something to try to get some bigger fish to bite, like a bigger profile lure. But right now, it's all about finding the fish, you know what I'm saying? So all we do, as you guys can see, we're fishing behind our island, but we do have a point right here. So usually at, around these points is whatever, these predator fish, they stage to ambush bait fish. So, or bait shrimp, just have a bite right there. Or bait shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they feed it on. So that's the main point of targeting points. And uh, if I knew this area pretty well, if I knew where the washed reefs were, if I knew where the sand was, it was a little bit easier to find this fish. But uh, right now we're just working with what we have and see if we can catch a fish. So let's go see if we can catch a fish. Oh, came off. All right, folks, so we, we were looking for a new spot to fish and we just see some birds diving over here. And that's a Louisiana 101 right here. You see birds diving, you go fishing. And apparently that boat right there had the same idea we had. Cause they was fishing way over there. They saw us coming over here. They came this way, so. As soon as I hit the water, Cody, popped my line, bro. As soon as I hit the water, popped my line, bro. Get your swim bait, get your swim bait, and, uh, and go over there. Ain't got time for that. As soon as my bait hit the water, Something hit, so we're gonna throw the jerk bait, the simulator bait fish, and then we go back in there with the matrix shed. But as soon as I made my cast, the boat, the cork went under. I mean, that they hit the swim bait. Golly, bro. Big fish. I side hooked them. Came off. I side hooked the trout. Usually, the fish you're gonna find under these birds are school fish but in the middle of the school fish you're gonna find a nice fish that's why i'm truck throwing this got it cody caught one see a school trout but in the middle of the school trout we might catch some fish so i see shrimp jumping like crazy in front of us it's a little male oh that might make it bro Golly. 
Golly, Cody, big fish. Ah, oh, it came off, bro. I saw the fish coming off, bro. That was a huge trout, Cody. That was a huge freaking trout, man. Guys, we on top of them. There's a lot of fish over here. It's just like, I know they want to swim. Oh, cork just went out. I know they want to swim bait. But I ain't got time to tie up a swim bait. That keep. That keep, fellas. That keep, fellas. Oh, yeah. Fish on. Feels like a school trout, but came off. It was a school trout. So, guys, let me explain something to you. You always got a depth. So we've been fishing deep water, we fishing around the structures, around the, as soon as they hit the water, we've been fishing around beaches. We've been doing, oh bro, that thing was swimming towards me. We've been doing a lot of, oh Cody. You gotta be a hard high cast fish already, already fish. Get the, get the net ready. Crank the boat up. I'm, I'm out of line, bro. Crank the boat up and go that way. I'm out of line. Just go. Go forward. Port, where, wherever I'm pointing at. Go, go where I'm pointing at. I have no line on my reel no more. You can go, you can go. All right, guys, I ran out, keep going. I ran out a line on my reel and something hit. I think it's a big old bull red. So you got it straight. All right, now let's chase the fish, bro. I'm sorry to get eyes off the fish. You come back. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. It popped. Let's go get my cork right there. All right, guys, so I ran out a line on my spinning reel. And that's my cork right here. Oh no, it broke my line. It broke my line. Whatever fish I had broke my line. Broke my lure. I literally went out of... Fuck, man. Let's just go back to the birds right there. Damn. Talk about some action right there, baby. But he was worth it, though. Damn. So something huge hit. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a porpoise. I don't know if it was a... Maybe I caught a trout and the porpoise caught a trout. I know that I couldn't hold it. And uh, I ran out of line on my reel, which reminds me that I got to re this reel, but I'm going to go back and try to catch some more trout. All right, folks, so as I was saying, whenever I caught whatever there was that popped my line, we've been trying a lot of things. And Louisiana Fishing 101, if you see birds diving, you're going to catch speckled trout. That's called fishing under the birds, and that's what we did. Man, my heart's like, Jesus Christ. So that's how we did. We found some birds diving, stopped under them, and was getting bites after bites, and then we had to stop catching because I hooked up to that thing. But uh, that's it. We're gonna go to another spot, try for a few minutes if we don't catch nothing in there. We're gonna go back to the islands and see if we see some more birds, and we might finish our trip chasing birds. You know, it happens. So stay tuned. All right, folks. So we just found some more birds dive in front of us. Water's pretty. And let's give it a try and that's probably what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the day i actually saw a fish hitting out of the water so let me explain to you guys what's happening with this bird situation this bird is not actually chasing the fish they chasing the bait the shrimp and all and the fish is right underneath the fish so the the bait so if you find birds diving, that means that you found bait. And if you found bait, you found the speckled trout. That's simple as that. Oh, bro, they right here, Cody. 
Pop my line. Pop my line again. Pop my line again. You got one? Nice one. My keep, my keep, my keep. Oh shit. So Cody just got a spec. We found them. I just popped my line again. I'm gonna throw the stop water and see if this fish have any interest in it. Oh, I had a hit. I had a hit. Oh, top water, Cody. Grab the top water, bro. Big trout. Came off, man. Grab the top water and come up in here with me. Oh, you can wait until you catch for more, but... Bro, it was a monster trout, Cody. Oh, another one top water, Cody. Grab the top water and come. No, 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 the top water, the top water, the one that's hanging right there, the big one next to, to your cork. Catch them on top water, guys. Every cast, Cody. Yeah, get the plier right here. Get your rod. Come up in here. No, do you got the plier for you? It's right here. Yeah, come up in here so I can film pretty good. Guys, Cody, Cody, Cody. Cody, oh, Cody, <laughs> two at a time, man. Yeah, I've never seen that before in my life. Yeah, just come up here next to me. <laughs> Look, whenever you cast out there, rod tip down, yeah. small strokes. Yeah, I've never seen that before in my life. Small strokes, and really that's it. But like, you gotta make sure she walks, like, boop, 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 boop. She ain't gonna catch no peacock bass like that, my buddy. This one ain't gonna make it. Hold on. Thirteen and a half. Go on. Side, 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 side. So usually like up, up and down motions, the easiest thing, you know, like this, right? Just your wrist, up and down, up and down. And continue. Once you get the cadence, like choo, 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 choo. And then you're gonna start doing shit like this, you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at this cool trout right here, bro. Look right here, right here. Look. <laughs> they're right here, they're right here, look. Guys, how crazy is that? Okay. Work it, work it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. And something's gonna come and hit it. Oh, look at the size of that trout, bro. Got one. Oh, pulling drag. You pull it, pulling drag, Cody. Pulling drag, Cody. Pulling drag, babe. Ah. Uh. Cody, 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 man, bro, get to the top water, bro, throw that shit out there, just don't hook me in the face, and make some motion with that thing, bro. Guys, look at this fish, look at this fish, oh, man, six fish, bro.
So here's the thing about top water fishing, guys. You gotta pick a bait that has a good rattling because especially in an open water situation like this, this rattling is what's gonna attract the fish, the call the fi fish's attention, you know. Man, I had two lines pop. Your line popped, huh? Your line popped, bro. Yep. So a fish just pop called this 50 pound braider line. What the hell was that, bro? The fish came out of the water. It's a huge fish. It's a huge fish. What is, please stay on. Please stay on so I can show everybody. Please stay on, that's the seven pound trout. If that's a trout, bro, that's a seven pound trout, Cody. If that's a trout, Cody. That's a seven pound trout, Cody. She's not even coming up, Cody. All right, guys. On the top water, I saw the fish coming out of the water. Oh no. It's gonna jump, it's gonna jump. Fuck. Guys, I don't think that was a red fish because I saw the whole fish come out of the water. Cody, get that net ready, cause that's a seven pound, eight pound trout. Or it's a spinning macro. That fish is huge. I don't know what it is, but this fish is huge, guys. Am I filming? Yeah. This fish is huge. I don't know what that could be. Unless that's a Jack Ravel, which I never caught a Jack Ravel over here, but I know they have them. But a Jack Ravel would be fine more than that. There's a 15 pound line. Even if the fish leaves or comes off, I don't care, I just want to show you guys and tell you guys what it is. That's one of my craziest catches ever. What is it, bro? Bro, the whole fish came out of the water. We gotta have a lot of patience right here. It's a spinning macros, bro. Spinning ma oh my God, bro. He's hooked on the belly, he's gonna come off. Oh no, oh no. It's a spinning macro, a Spanish macro. I need to look. We got it, bro. I caught a Spanish macro top water, bro. That's offshore fish, bro. That's offshore fish, bro. Top water. Dude, that's a nice one, too. Dude. All right, folks. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Let me find my grip. And uh, I got to find my grip. And then we're going to get it out of there, take a few pictures. And I got to know if I can keep that fish and if it's... Uh, whatever, I cannot speak. Let's let, let's get it done, bro. Spanish mackerel. That's what popped your line. Look at the mouth. Oh yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you check on Google Spanish mackerel uh, limits, or if they have like a size limit or something? Here, guys. Look at this fish, fellas. Look at this fish, fellas. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and take a picture with it. Did you see anything? Uh, like to see how big it is? Yeah, just a... Oh, I thought it was a mean like it was illegal, but I said, no, that's... 26 inches. On oh, top water, babe! Yeah, On oh, top man. water, babe! Oh, man! Oh! 
top water fellas top water bite fellas top water bite fellas uh, in a Let me check this bait right here. Just trout. Oh yeah, 14 and a half. Oh man. All right, folks, we had enough fish to bring home. You know, we had a great day fishing today. We might stay here for a little while and maybe film a second video for you guys. But uh, yeah, so beat us up. I'm tired, it was a day full of emotions, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Living Outdoors.